we're out picking up the mail and uh, there's nobody out here. Except these guys. Here come two guys on motorcycles. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now that, you know, that trick was cool. He, he was going on though and he went. <laughs> Did you see him do that? So there's almost, almost nobody around today. Uh, the government is asking us more and more and more and more and more, stay home, stay home, stay home, stay home. And maybe everybody's staying home. Anyway, what do we have on today's episode? Um, well, we installed the bidet. Oh yes, we're gonna install a bidet and, and uh, maybe I'll be the first to test it out. Oh yeah, we've got a science demo. We're gonna learn about surface tension uh, with the magic of Corona. What's the other thing? You're, you've got a tooth. We'll see if your tooth comes out by the end of the episode. What? What's it's on your bleeding. finger? Bleeding. What is? My tooth. Oh, okay. Oh, oh here comes a purulator truck. This is a bidet. What's a bidet? It is something that cleans your butt for you. Control with this thing. And it does it. Like, it just uses water. Oh, it uses water? It. it doesn't scrub it? Does it scrub it? No, I don't think it scrubs it. Okay. You use this toilet paper. Toilet paper? I thought everybody took all the toilet paper. Yeah, but we have toilet paper. Just in case. Dude. Hmm. You just oh. you break that seal and the whole box opens fine. This thing looks like it has a lot of problems. Okay, that's the actual gadget. I don't know how to set this thing down. You're in the way! <laughs> Come on, that's not helpful. Step one, turn off the toilet tank water supply. Okay, remove the toilet seat. How do you remove the toilet seat? I don't know. Gordon, can you get me a screwdriver? Where is it? Wait, I think there might be one in the kitchen. Speaking of water, we're gonna do a little demonstration here. What's it say on this bottle cap? Corona Extra, Corona Beer. Corona Beer. How much water do you think that can hold? Not that much. How far can we fill it? before it starts spilling over the edge. Maybe two centimeters of okay. water. Okay, if I fill it up to the top, that's as far as I can go, right? I'm gonna get some water in an eyedropper here. I'm gonna, you tell me when you think it's full. I think it's full. You think it's full right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. It looks full. Mm -hmm. It looks totally full. But watch what I do. Adding more, and more, and more. Wow, it's still not overflowing. What do you think is happening? The water's connecting so it doesn't make any more. Can you imagine a layer on top of the water that is stretching, kind of like cling wrap? Oh, now starting to overflow. Oh. Can you see though that the water is kind of bulging on top? Yeah, but it's not coming out. You see that? It's like there's yeah. a bulge over the top. It looks really cool from this angle. It's like the like the like the lid is kind of bent as a bulge. Yeah, the water is bulging over the top. The reason it does that is something called surface tension. The top of the water is being pulled kind of by the edges to hold the rest of the water in until that surface tension is broken and now it's spilling over the edge. That's the same way that some bugs and stuff can walk around on top of water. They're not sticking their feet in the water. They're walking around on top of the surface of the water. That reminds me, is there any house centipede in the sink now? Science is cool! Daddy, why do you say that all the time? Why does your face look so red? Uh... Ah. The camera. Your face looks so wet in the camera, Daddy. I'm bent over. Don't judge my dad. His face looks wetter than it does in real life. It looks pink. Very dark. Very, very pink. I have a, fair, a fairly pink face. Kitty. But it looks pinkle. It looks pinker? Yes. Ah! It's you, you still get that. No, I got it. The Chocho fell off. Careful not to drop the bolts in the toilet. Ew! There's some gunk. So that's a good time to clean that. Step three, mount your Lux bidet on the toilet. Here's the thing, there's where the holes are gonna go. I just found a dryer for a big old crack between my tooth and my gum. Yeah, Gordon has a tooth coming out today. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Top 
top or bottom, that's what. Where'd the other one go? That's on pretty tight. Now what? One, two, three, four, nine. What? Four, nine, five, six, seven, and eight are on the next page. Disconnect the su water supply hose. Now flush it, which is gonna empty the tank. Oh, it's so tight. Ah, it's too tight. So we've disconnected that. Yep, wrench. Thank you. Oh my. And it turns what I'm trying to do. Okay, what's next? Step eight, connect the bidet hose. Which end goes on which? Mm. Oh, I think this one goes on this. Okay, so that's on nice and snug. What's next? Tongue on the toilet tank water supply. Let me know when you're ready. I, I'm ready. Okay. I, I'm, I'm all ready. Ah, Jesus! Okay. Okay, it leaked. That leaked. Nice! Where is it coming out of? That will need to be fixed. Ah, jeez, it didn't work again. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, I did that wrong. I cross-threaded it. Okay, so there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. I did it the wrong way. Short break, because I cross-threaded this thing and water was flying out. So, let's try it again. Dude! Is it working? It's not leaking. There's also these three holes. Wait, 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 what? We have leftover parts. <gasps> That's fine, those are just there to cover. So it says congratulations. You are ready to use your bidet for the first time. Gently turn the water pressure control knob to reach your desired spray pressure. Okay. Does anyone have to poop? I, I have pooped twice since we started this thing. Yes. But, uh... You're the demonstrator. I'm the demonstrator, right? I hope that's in the center. Um... Wash. <laughs> ah! Jesus! The boot squirted at me! Uh... Uh... Now you're hiding. <laughs> ah! Okay, so you can hose down the shower curtain. And you know that when it's on low, it shoots across the room. <laughs> so, good luck. You can use the toilet paper to dry off. Oh, hey, you. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. Yes. It is pretty cool. Because the bidet is under the toilet seat, mm -hmm. it's lifting the toilet seat up off the toilet a bit, so it feels a little wobbly. There are these little bumpers you can get that go under the seat to raise it up a bit, so we'll probably get those. The water's a little cold, but it's not unpleasant. It's okay. I found that it aimed a little, just a tiny bit too far forward. I feel very clean and refreshed, it's nice. Oh yes, Gordon has been following along with uh, Lunchtime Doodles with Mo Willems, children's author Mo Willems. This is today's doodle. Yeah. Mo Willems wrote a book called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Okay, I don't know much about naked mole rats, but I'm guessing that's his teeth. These are his ears. So his ears are way up there and his teeth are down here. I don't know enough about mole that's rats. That's his nose. Those are his eyes. Gerald says to Piggy, I hate you. Mm -hmm. So this is an actual scene from a Mo Willems book that you thought your friend Angela would be like. Not, not the I hate you, but the, oh, okay, yes. So the first uh, first use of the Lux bidet uh, is a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> hey, you've got a missing tooth, or your tooth is still there. Oh, it's wiggly and everybody can see. And now you're making gross noises. Yeah. You're having a fun day. Oh, uh, I pulled out my tooth. I think it might be win two or four dollars. 